With a background and education in literature, Amanda McIntyre has been a writer and artist for over five years. With a pursuit in the arts, she has built a space, or as she would call it, a troupe, called Dolly Mass in Trinidad and Tobago. Dolly Mass is a visual and performing arts company and platform. Founded and established by McIntyre in 2020, she is the current creative director and lead designer with an aim to create an intergenerational Caribbean feminist ethos in visual art and performance. The initiative is focused on the contemporary Caribbean baby doll masquerade as an art aesthetic and advocacy tool. Amanda played the baby doll for the first time in 2011, following in the vein of Hazel Brown, who for over 10 years performed the baby doll masquerade as part of a work in feminist advocacy and activism in Trinidad and Tobago. So that year I was quite fortunate to find out that she was doing this and I wanted to, to be a part of it. And so I went to my cupboard. I had a um, quite femme presentation at the time. So I went to my cupboard and found a dress and um, just made, put together a little costume for myself. I did not meet up with Hazel that year. It was interesting to me to see people immediately recognize what I was doing. And even people who did not recognize it still had an impression of something. After this, she continued her public performances of the Baby Doll Masquerade. However, after winning at Boca's Lit Festival's All Mass competition alongside another band, Vulgar Fraction, in 2017, it was then her work in Carnival had intersected with her work in advocacy. She was awarded the title All Mass Champion with her presentation based on the feminist movement in Trinidad and Tobago. Amanda says despite the challenges of the Carnival industry, she pursued. In 2020, there was yet another turning point because, you know, after so many years of working, for people or with people, I had just been so exhausted by the constantly having to prove yourself. However, Amanda says she is grateful for the encouragement and support from colleagues like Alan Vaughan of Moko Samoku, who suggested she create her own platform. Highlighting relevant issues at the time, Dolly Mas presented performances based on the welfare of migrant children in Trinidad and Tobago, referencing the International Bill of Human Rights, the UN Convention of the Rights of a Child, and the Convention of the Rights of All Migrant Workers and Their Families. Migrant children were being retained, very similarly to the way in which they were being retained in the United States. And I could not fathom just how, you know, we could continually make these mistakes when it comes to human beings. While McIntyre kept the troupe like a family, with a selection of performers, she was pleased to see the public's interest in the band as well, since her very first performance. There have been people who have consistently asked about it, and if I had anything at all to share, they would just be so overjoyed. Um, because there remains in Trinidad and Tobago a strong contingent of people who support and find great joy in traditional mass. Bringing the mass into contemporary ethos, Amanda aims to change the traditional iteration of the baby doll character by representing the masquerade as being self-reliant caregivers who are supported. I am Gio Loren Gomez covering your creatives for TTT News.